There is more to every city than meets the eye. In the case of Helsinki, much of the hidden parts are beneath the surface. And this city's subterranean world is set to get much bigger. The Finnish capital is the world's first city to develop an underground master plan. Helsinki has barriers that have restricted its growth. On the one side, there are the existing buildings, but then you have the water. So between the buildings and the harbour, there really is only one place to go, down below. That's exactly what they're doing. In efforts to avoid urban sprawl and maintain the low-rise cityscape, Helsinki is taking advantage of its natural resources to expand. What makes underground Helsinki possible is this hard bedrock that's shallow enough beneath the ground to be usable. It allows the city planners to create these huge infrastructures that frankly look like something out of the Flintstones. It is a way of doing things that um, we, we put underground things which don't have to be seen. And, and it's, it's uh, relatively inexpensive to build there, and why not to use it? Today, there are hundreds of underground facilities, and many more are planned. You can see uh, both the present uh, stage and, and the future uh, stage in, in the same picture. Grey parts are the existing parts, and uh, blue parts are the uh, planned parts. This policy of putting industrial facilities beneath the surface helps free up land above ground for more profitable real estate development. Down below is the world's only fully automated underground coal storage facility. Four enormous silos store enough coal for half of the city's annual consumption. And all that remains on the surface is a discreet coal shaft. Perhaps the most extensive use of the bedrock is within the city's district heating and cooling system. 60 kilometers of tunnels, deep beneath the surface, with heat and hot water to Helsinki. In uh, most cities, all the cables and pipes go underneath the asphalt, and for maintaining, you need to uh, break the asphalt and have a digging machine in between the cars in the traffic. But in Helsinki, we have very good uh, tunneling network crisscrossing underneath the city and uh, we can supply all the cables and pipes from the underground tunnels and don't need to disturb the traffic. Wherever you are, when temperatures drop or when cooling is needed, something stirs down below. The magnificent Ospensky Orthodox Cathedral is proof that no part of Helsinki remains untouched by the underground city. The old and the new coming together, whether it's the pipes providing the heat for the worshippers here or the revolution going on down below in the cathedral's bomb shelter. 30 metres beneath the surface, two Finnish companies have joined forces and created the world's greenest data centre of its time. Data centres are consuming at least 2% of the all energy consumed in the world. It's growing fast, thanks to Google and other guys. In most data centers, just half of the energy consumed is used by the computers themselves. The rest is used to cool the computers down. What's different with us, we're using seawater, which is cold obviously here in Finland, and that's the way how we cool it efficiently. We don't use electricity to cool them down, so basically we save a lot of electricity in that way and also energy. And what we're doing, we're actually taking the excess heat and putting that to district heating network and warming uh, Helsinki homes. The excess heat leaves the data center through pipes which carry it 70 meters down to the underground tunneling network that lies beneath Helsinki. From here, 
that heat continues its journey through the pipes and arrives at its final destination, heating people's homes and water. Its journey travels through the world's largest heat pump of its kind. Of course, it's also underground. Those cities who have this city system, they should definitely do that. They use all the excess heat. If they don't do it, they should do it. Hide the industrial bits you don't want to see deep underground. Reduce your carbon footprint and free up space on the surface for the good life by the sea. It's hard to argue with this sort of future city.